Well, hello everybody. What is the date today? It is September 18th. And I know it's hard to see out the windshield right now. It'll get better. Nice to see you guys. I've been sicker than a dog with my Crohn's disease. As you can see, I went to the ER. I've been a couple times now. Um, they put me on a bunch of prednisone and stuff like that. Things were, were not looking good. When they did the CT scan, it showed a, a huge amount of inflammation. And they thought that I had a perforation in my colon and in my lower intestines. So, so it's just, it's really bad. But here's my baby. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and here's my other babies. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what we are doing today is we've done this drive at nighttime this season. But this is my favorite, most beautiful drive in all of the San Bernardino National Forest. It's the most beautiful Forest Service road. Um, and uh, yeah, so I really want to make sure that you guys get to see this during the daytime because it, it is something else. It's I haven't seen it during the daytime in over a year and a half now, so I'm really excited. So let's go do this, you guys. And I'm gonna keep the camera outside the window while we have all this glare for a while, just to make sure we get you the best picture. But I have missed you guys so dearly. I am so, so happy to have you guys back in my life today. I've missed you guys so much, responding to you guys, reading all the beautiful comments, showing me so much love and support, and so much care and concern about my health. Um, it means an awful lot to me, guys. Um, just a little bit more on, on my health. I'm not trying to be selfish here. There is a, a, a chance I'll have to have um, some of my colon removed and have to live with a colostomy bag. Like, I know, I hope you're not eating while I'm talking about this right now. But uh, I just want you guys to know that no matter what, I'm never going to quit doing this. You guys give me so much energy and so much hope and just the absolute will to keep on doing what I'm passionate about because I'm hurting a lot right now. I'm in a lot of pain right now. And uh, you know what, like like doing this for you guys makes me so happy. It feels so good inside. And uh, thank you guys. I, I, I need as much help as I can get. For those of you who have been watching for a while, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I don't like to get a free like and subscribe. I, I like to ha have earned it, but I never ask you guys until the very end of the video, and these videos are so long. Most people probably don't watch till the very end, so please help me out, hit that like button, subscribe, um, share, and leave comments. I love responding to you guys. I lo 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 love it. So thank you guys, and let's go do this Forest Service Road. And once we're up here a little bit more, I'll tell you which one we're on. I wanted to see if some of you could figure it out. Um, this pavement ends maybe a quarter mile to a half a mile up. And then it turns into all dirt all day. Again, I'm going to stick the camera out the window to avoid a lot of the glare. I hope the wind doesn't bother you guys. But guys, thank you again for being in my life. Thank you for showing me so much love. Your support has gotten me through this. Um, I really hope you guys understand that. Um, your support towards my beautiful wife means the world to me too. You guys have been so sweet and so kind to her. Um, she was so standoffish um, because once in a blue moon, there would be a really mean comment towards me. And yeah, I'm human. It hurts my feelings. But it really hurt her seeing that. And she didn't want me to experience those comments. And she definitely didn't want to get any mean comments either because she's, she's done nothing wrong. She's done nothing wrong. And as far as I'm concerned, I haven't either. I'm just trying to help you guys out and show you guys this beautiful town and just have you guys in my lives like the brothers and sisters that you are because you are my brothers and sisters. So I love you guys and thank you for everything again. <clears throat> and it, it's not just that either. Like I also just am a really private person. I am the kind of person that doesn't really like to be in the pictures and you know, I'm kind of quiet and I stay to myself. So I was shy too. Hey, there's the girl that works at Vons. Uh, oh yeah. Hey you. <laughs> Good, how are you? That's awesome. Are, <laughs> can I can I show you show you to my YouTube fans? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Look at you big dog. Look at you big dog. Hi. Guys, this is the most awesome manager over at at Bonds. Um this, the, the sweetest person. Huge heart. And uh that's a fighter right there. That is a fighter right there. Very nice to see you. You too. What's at the top of this? 
So this 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 goes all the way around to Bear Mountain. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, right now I think because of the fires last year, it's closed uh, about three quarters of the way, yeah. maybe a, a little bit more. But so is there better hiking spots up top if you keep going? Um, yeah, yes. So oh, so there? so look up the the Pine Knot Trail okay. because that'll take you through the center of all of this. That it's, one's so populated down there though. It's is like it? not secluded at all. Yeah. I just moved from Bear City and I had secluded hikes over there. No, I totally. I let him off the leash. And so I'm trying to find that over here and it's a little bit more populated no, than hikes. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it definitely is. But since it's three and a half miles to the very top, which you get to the most spectacular view of San yeah. Gorgonio. And a lot of people don't hike that, that far. So if you can get through, that part you'll be there'll be a lot less folks and you'll end up crossing this road nice. way up here oh really yeah nice. yeah yeah so it's it's, nice. it's super awesome nice. but uh yeah oh look at how cute know, look yeah. at how he's big. Big. He's yeah he's definitely maximus for, for sure <laughs> these are minimus I know. <laughs> his best friend's a chihuahua so we're down oh oh come here buddy all right Hi, you're so back. cute. You're so cute. You are so well, it's cute. Nice running into you guys. Nice running into you yeah, too. Absolutely, small town. Yes, it yeah, is. Have a good hike, guys. Hey, thank you. You too. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, guys, those are the type of people that you'll find up here. Just really, really nice, nice people, hardworking people. Um, as, as I said, she works at, at Vons. She's a manager at our Vons up here. So if you see her, and why am I spacing her name? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. That is so freaking bad. But uh, yeah, just kind souls. Um, you know, that's something a small town does definitely bring out is uh, some some really lovely hearted people. Um, obviously, anywhere you go, you're gonna get the opposite as well. So you gotta be vigilant of who you deal with. But um, yeah, guys, when you come up here, if you see her, tell her, tell her hello she'd probably be super stoked um and and when i said she's a fighter i, I i'm not going to get too in depth but sh she has a pretty serious medical condition and uh um she's like uh you would never know and she 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 fights she's super super tough and uh um just you know takes life how it's given to her and then she does what she can to, what she can to better her life you gotta admire that and thanks for for recognizing her, babe. That hair is really nice to me, and she always says hi. And that hair, you you cannot miss, right, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. So as I said, I'm going to be sticking the camera out the window for a few minutes here, so you guys don't deal with the glare. All right, that's it. Now we're back inside. <laughs> I, just, I want to show you guys where we're at. I know that doesn't help. But as you can see, there's no other roads around us. And uh, yeah, you're going back outside the window, guys. to hiking in places where you kind of you do want to let your dogs off the leash you don't always want to keep your dogs off the leash even though you're supposed to and it's safety and all this other stuff it's like you kind of want them to feel a little bit of freedom every once in a while so I look for those places too where I can take the dogs and mostly the dog park is where I go but and when I do go on hikes or I do go to places I try to let you know let them run without the leash and um, and our actually, dog still bites people and actually yesterday, um, yesterday, I was over by the zoo and I was letting them run around the parking lot. And then some lady was like, there's coyotes in that area. And I'm like, I know, but I mean, we live in the fort, like there's coyotes everywhere, even at the dog yeah, park. Yeah, you just gotta be vigilant. So, um, you just she gotta got be a little vigilant. bit upset because I said, I know, I didn't mean to be rude. I really didn't. I, I just meant, I know. That's just how you come off, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, she was like, fine, you know. Fine, but, Yeah, fine. she really was. She, but thank you for letting Obviously me Obviously, she and, cares. And, yeah. yeah. Thank, or, I'm grateful for or, everybody. I'm not, I'm really not. Or in like some some situations, people say that because they feel like they're the boss of you. And it's an entitlement type of a, 
of uh, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, what you need to do. But no, she is absolutely right. But the whole point is, is just like you said, we do live in, in the forest and it's about being vigilant. You need to be vigilant and you yeah. need to pay attention and not let them go too crazy. If you're in an area like this, yeah. you're not gonna wanna let them go too far. That's why I think we should get those leashes that extend like 30 feet or so, so you can stop them when you need to, but let them get get ahead of you a bit. Well, I just kind of feel like when a coyote wants it, he's gonna he's gonna go for it because I I yeah, but I've heard of people who have their dogs on the but re leash but remember when 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 we chased the coyote and it dropped Theo, so we were very very. Uh, he definitely yeah. wanted Theo, but we stopped him, which yeah. was incredible. Incredible. Yeah, Nick went out there like a Nick ran out there like a big foot, but he's a little foot. No, oh, but he's a little foot. No, but he's a little foot. No, <laughs> but it still no he did. He ran out there like a big foot, but he's a little foot. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. This is this is like such a beautiful area. My gosh, it's so gorgeous back here. So this is the two N ten, the two N like Nick and ten. And you can remember it like so two ten. Just think of your two feet and ten toes, and then think of the N as Nick. So two N ten, and that's the road. This is as I said, as far as I'm concerned, the most beautiful road in the whole San Bernardino National Forest. It has so much to offer in terms of just diverse beauty. Um, you've got some some parts of this road that like seem like kind of super high desert area, and then you've got this that seems like a like a rainforest area. So beautiful. It's so spectacular. Let me roll up the window for a sec. So I can do this. Yesterday. I think this is the area where the water thing is. Okay. Well we're gonna have to do that eventually. So Rachel um, knows where there's a little area where there's like a spigot, a natural water spigot that comes out of the hill and it, it taps into our aquifers uh, up here and just pushes out the freshest water you can imagine. Um, so we will show you guys one of these days soon where that little area is. So when you come up here, if you're doing any camping or hiking, you can just take this road for a little bit of a drive and go get yourself some free, fresh agua. Because whatever we can do to help you guys you know, kind of subsidize your your money while you're up here, I would love to help you guys out by doing that. I don't, I don't want you guys wasting a whole bunch of money. I want you guys to come up here and have the best time you can with as little money spent. Right, right, yeah, baby? That's yep. the way to do it. Hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Restaurants are gonna be jacked left and right, yeah. for sure, all day long. Yesterday, he's got nothing for me. Oh, pictures that I always see. He really wants to look out the window today. Yesterday, he's got nothing for me. why she thinks she can run her mouth because she was really nice yeah whatever that's right it was really nice run it run it go 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 no no babe. <laughs> i told her to punch me in the arm and she punches me in the ribs oh you were putting i thought you were opening your no, I don't, don't. Your oh she did it again no <laughs> oh, look. oh look it's hey Bobby Hi. hey guys what? I'm making a YouTube video right now oh, guys Hi. you remember Bob and that's Bob's wonderful <laughs> wife Cindy 
How you doing, bro? And the family. Yes. The family. He, he'll buy. You don't need to do anything. No. Well, hey, well, good, good to see you guys. Good yeah. to see you guys. Guys, th this guy, Bob, he's been like a father to me up here. Um, he's the one who helps me when I really need help. And they have the most amazing camping spot on the whole mountain, which is right here. Oh, it's, it's, it is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob, you're, you're looking good, man. Pimping ain't easy, bro. Pimping ain't easy. No, it's not. But, you know. It'll all get better. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm on loads of steroids right now, of prednisone. Um, Feeling a lot better? Had to do another ER visit. Like, yeah, 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 man. But, yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll chat with you more about that. All right, bro. Thank you. Thanks, Cindy. Enjoy. Bye, you guys. Good to see you guys. Bye. Wow. She freaked out. She really did. She. I think it was maybe the beard. The white beard. But, babe, you're recognizing everybody for me today. That's great. Good eyes. Good eyes, my friend. There's like two people in this town. I know. It's crazy that you see them all and you're like, oh, my goodness. Look at them. <laughs> I'm sounding like a telephone now. All right, guys, we're going to be pointing this that direction and that direction. So I, I made sure I can catch up. Look at how unbelievably gorgeous this area is. And since we're probably not going to be able to make it through to the very end, the cool thing is we get it, it'll take us basically a quarter mile from the very end. I think this is about an eight or nine mile drive. So we'll get to do most of it. But the, the best part is, is when we turn around to come back, if they don't let us through, then uh, we will be able to record coming back and it's gonna look completely different. So it'll look like two different videos. Again, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. Please help us out. We just crossed 21,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Let's try to get to 21,001. Million. <laughs> Woo. Oh, hey, now you're an all-star. Get your game on. 
close that. I'm turn those lights Babe. on. This is helps me. Oh, you don't want them to hop out? No, I just was trying to get the dust. The dust. Uh, I didn't think about it. I'm sorry, okay. baby. I was just, it was just momentary, but that's okay. We can get dusty. I don't mind. Momentary. Momentary dust of fairy. I'm a dust of fairian. Okay, so here's a little look at this. What's that say right there, guys? It says Mill Creek Road. But yes, we are on the 2 and 10. What was the trick I told you guys to remember? 210, two feet, 10 toes, and N for Nick. There you go, pretty easy to remember. And most of this drive, I think your average car can handle it. There's a few spots that are kind of rough, but they're very minimal. And you'll see, whenever we get to one of them, I will be letting you guys know, oh no, this is one of the rough spots, oh my gosh. Plenty of spots to pull off, climb up these rocks, and sit, just get up top and have some beautiful views. Okay, hopefully my tire thing, tire pressure gauge doesn't come on while we're on this drive, because that'll make me nervous. My tire had 10 pounds of gas, or gas, 10 pounds of air in it when we, right before we came out here, so I, I filled it up to 36. It's the same leak that I've had since the last time we did this at nighttime a month and a half ago. Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, what a spectacular day. Right, honey bunny? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and phenomenal and so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at that. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Do you love it? I love it too. There's a fish, a rock shaped like a fish. Hey, it's Moby Dick. It's a Moby Dick fish rock. The Moby Rock Fish Dick. That came out wrong, sorry. Oh my God, what are we doing? We are cruising through the wilderness in Big Bear with all these beautiful rocks. People can put on their socks and go hiking in Big Bear. Maybe we can get off and take a couple steps. It's a possibility, it's just time is my only issue, but we can, yeah, we, we can consider that, honey. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. As a lot of you know from watching for a long time, as soon as I hit the record button, it feels like you all are right here with me. It's a pretty darn good feeling. I don't know why it feels like that, but it feels like all 21,000 of you are sitting inside the car with me right now. And it doesn't even feel crowded. So Rachel asked me where, uh, where, where all these big boulders came from, why they're just in the middle of nowhere. And my, my best answer would, would be that back during the ice age, when a lot of this was glacier, um, since glaciers moved, the rocks were probably on the glaciers. And once the glaciers melted, that's where the rocks stayed. That would be the only thing to me that makes sense. I mean, guys, there's so much to do up here. So many little areas you can go hiking. Um, just make sure when you pull off to any side here that you lock your cars. Um, before you come out here, make sure that you tell a few different people where you're going and when to expect to hear back from you. Cell phone service can be pretty messed up back here, as you can imagine. Uh, make sure you have plenty of food and water to last you 
I always say a week. I know that's overkill because it's not gonna take you that long if you get stuck to walk out of here. At the furthest point, it might take you a few hours to walk out of here, but you wanna be safe. Uh, make sure you fill up your gas tank before you come back here in case you need to use the heat. Let's say you don't have, uh, you're not able to walk much, so the walking would be out of the question if you get stuck. You wanna make sure that you have enough heat. So I always suggest filling up your gas tank letting two or three people know where you're going, when to expect you, have plenty of warm clothes and blankets in your car and one week worth of food and water. It's better to be safe than sorry. I know that's a pain in the butt, you guys, but you guys are super important to me and I never wanna hear any stories of any of you getting hurt. One of you guys on Highway 18 on the, on the front side, as soon as you pass the Big Bear Dam, one of you guys sent me a message saying that your cousin's car, half of the car got crushed by a rock that fell down from the little Arctic Circle, wow. and it, it crushed one half of their car, oh the side that they weren't in. That's like my biggest fear, is that I'm gonna just be driving to go see my mom and a big old boulder's gonna squish me. That, I always have that fear. It's a real, it's a real possibility up here. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, guys, that's uh driving up here any direction you come up here there's rock slide and mudslide possibilities but the very worst is highway 38 and and highway 330 and 18 on the front side 18 on the back you'll you can still get rock and mudslides too but it's not nearly as bad um, that last stretch called the little arctic circle after you pass snow valley ski resort on the front side coming to big bear that whole area just with the lightest amount of rain can do so much erosion and it doesn't take much to erode what we have up here so you have to be extraordinarily cautious i mean it, it really is a, 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 like a mission to get up here you guys and safety is so important and, and just make sure that that's your number one focus is safety because you're coming up here to have fun you take time off of work which is losing you money you pay for a lot of gas to to get up here you pay exorbitant amounts of money for hotels and food up here you, you don't want to damage your, your cars you don't want to have anything else that's going to cost you more um, as I said I want you guys to have as much fun as you can without without burying your bank account hey this is so much different than that nighttime drive it's so beautiful it was beautiful at nighttime don't get me wrong but this is this is something else. This is just amazing. Don't you think so, honey? Again, more patches of rocks. Just park right here and, and, and walk up there. And I know the rocks don't look like they, they were that high from right here, but when you're on top of them, you'll be able to see a lot. And uh, it's funny how the views from up top of something are always much more dramatic than when you're looking up at it. And you'll see all these offshoot roads here and, and little trails. And once again, you can create your own trails up here, you guys. Just try to try to remember where you're at and do whatever you can using GPS or something to mark uh, the new track that you're taking because there is a lot to explore up here and I want you guys to be the explorers the best explorers that you can but I don't want you guys getting lost so there are apps stuff like that where you can uh, you know hit start and it'll track your GPS position from where you started and uh, yeah, so you don't don't get lost. And usually a lot of those apps will work uh, without needing service. Right, honey bunny? Ooh, look at that view down there. Okay, hang on a second. Right when we get through these trees right here, you guys. Beautiful little view. Oh yeah, that's so gorgeous right there. 
What do you dogs think, huh? Huh, Luna, Luna Spoona? Hi, Luna Spoona. Theo, Theo, Theo. Hi, bud. Who's the doggy? Who's the doggy? He's the doggy. All right. And again, I already mentioned when we turn around at the end, if, if they haven't opened it completely up in the past month and a half or month, um, then we will be recording coming back as well. So you'll get a completely different perspective. You guys might not realize how different it is gonna look coming back. Oh no. You got it? Yeah, let me, let me, let me pull up here. Okay. Are you able to get by? Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys are the important ones. Thank you. Be careful. He smiles. Oh, I'd be stressed too being. being pulled by those two girls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At first, when she was waving her arms, I was going to get out of the car and be like, what? What's up? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, short tempered. Like, geez. But, but she was, she was super, super nice afterwards. Really stressed out. Poor thing. I know. I know. We're towing. <laughs> She reminded me of a, one of those Karen videos where the um, lady was like screaming at that guy who, who she thought stole her her um, package. She, she looked just like her. Some people just don't have that 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 etiquette ability to stay calm. I know I don't um, in certain situations, like when there's a fly around. Yes. Yes. Um, no, but I can, but we also, we can understand her pain though because that's a scary situation. Oh, yeah. Like that's what we've been talking about getting stuck up here. It's it's not fun. And that guy was I, I guarantee you those those women were not back here with him. So they had to drive all the way back here. Yeah. To grab him. So that must must not have been fun. That must have been scary. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh my gosh, babe, it is so pretty back here. Gorgeous. I mean, it's so pretty back here. And when it, oh my gosh, you guys, when it turns fall, we're gonna have to do this one more time. We will for sure in the fall. Oh my gosh, in the fall when all these trees start changing colors. Oh my gosh, it's just breathtaking. I wish pine trees changed, but pines don't. It's Everything here looks different. And if we get lucky before they close the road down for the season, if we get an early snowstorm, we'll make sure we come back here for that. So we can drive back here while it's white. Because that is something special. I've I've done that a couple times. I've been able to, you know, catch it. Okay, here's part of the rough part. It, it doesn't look that bad. But we made it no problem. Um... And at nighttime, you guys, even though this isn't the Holcomb side, this is, we're gonna be going right behind Snow Summit, just about at the top of Snow Summit, you guys, which is really cool. But at, at nighttime, um, this is a fairly haunted area, but not as much as Holcomb Valley because of all the murders that took place due to hangings and stuff like that.
Once again, I gotta put the camera out the window because I don't want you guys dealing with all that glare as little as possible. That was cute. Do you like dragonflies? It did, didn't it? Look at how it's looking out here now, guys. We went from a bunch of huge trees to beautiful bushes and and and, and beautiful rounded off rocks. It's really cool. Can I drink some of this? Of course you can, can right? Eh? Yeah. Just put your mouth all over it, babe. Like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just drinking it regular, guys. And he's oh yang. Oh yang. <laughs> he's oh yang. Oh wang, oh wang. No, no, no. No wang, no wang, no wang, wang. You guys have no idea how much I want some Indian food, but because of my Crohn's disease, I cannot do that. It would, so it does, doesn't it? Why can't you just get it without the hot? Because why, it's not how I like it. That's why. change my hand real quick so we're gonna have to use do, do it through the windshield for a minute because my left arm is getting tired I only need a few seconds though of arm switching <laughs> you're right there Luna huh huh you're right there Luna okay we're gonna How you doing, babe? Good. Good. Just trying to give Linda a drink of water. It's kind of hard on this mountain road, but it's working. And like I've told you guys, probably every time I've been on this road in the eight and a half years that I've been recording up here, it sometimes feels like I'm on that road or that ride, Indiana Jones at, at Disneyland. What ride is that? Indiana Jones. <laughs> <sighs> she drives me crazy. Ooh, ooh, like no one else. Ooh, ooh. You guys remember Fine Young Cannibals? They were a pretty good band. That's kind of dating us quite a bit, huh, babe? Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
that a shadow? Or is that just the color of the tree? That's interesting. Is, is that a shadow? Yeah, it's gotta be a shadow. It's gotta be a shadow. Look at that, look at that tree bent like that. That is cool looking. That's a cool looking bender. Hey, bender. Hey there, tree bender. Did Theo get any water? He didn't want any. It was too hard for him because we're bouncing. You want to stop for a sec? No. I want to get over that rock without bottoming out. I do not want to stop. Maybe on the way back we'll stop. I mean, it really is so awesome back here, you guys. This drive is so great. And as I said, most of your cars would probably make it. You just have to just be, be wary of a couple little spots. But I would never say that to you guys if I didn't think that you could. I'm pretty sure any Subaru would be fine. Mine, Mine's lifted, but I'm pretty sure any Subaru would, would make it just fine back here. Some years it's worse than others. Like this part's gonna be kind of kind of rough, but we're gonna stay over here and scratch the car a little bit on the left, but that's okay. Or not. Good job, Nick. Good job, Nick. Okay, so right here is gonna be kind of interesting because, uh, oh man. Hey, that's okay. It's only some scratches. And since, since I'm not selling the car anymore, I'm not worried about it. We're gonna tear this car up, drive this thing till the wheels fall off. And then I'll have my brand new car to drive. What's this car's no working no more? That's gonna be exciting. Or if a couple more years goes by and I don't drive my new car, then it'll only have 6,000 miles on it and I'll be able to sell it and pay it off and then use the balance for a down payment on a brand new car. Even though I'd ra much rather have no car payment so I can focus on buying a house for my wife and myself eventually someday. That would be fantastic, but we'll see. And I know this is way late into the video. I forgot to mention it, but we, we do have a merchandise line coming out, you guys. I'm so excited about it. Some of the stuff looks so adorable. There's me as like a like cartoon character and stuff, it, like for shirts and stuff like that. It's so cool. <laughs> it is so cool. Our friend, he's he's one of you guys he became my brother on this channel and uh he's he's doing it all for me he took the bull by the horns took initiative to do that for us and he built out my big bear weather and more.com website everything's going to launch when we have our first snowstorm this season and i'm really hoping you guys do help me out support support the channel by by getting some merchandise that'd be freaking awesome i work so hard you guys i work so hard so i'm i'm really hoping something comes out of it but even just to see my merchandise all around town seeing people wearing it that would be so gratifying such a beautiful feeling like there's, there's like a red thing in there oh it's, i thought that was like a plant but no it's not a plant Hi there, Luna. Do you enjoy your water, big girl? Does she want any more water, babe? Or do you think she got enough? I think she got enough. Okay.
Look at that big tree that they had to cut because it fell across the road. I mean, it's just so amazing how we started off through like really thick forest and now it's like kind of like a high desert look, a high desert feel. And we should be coming up to some pretty incredible views of San Gorgonio, you guys. It's, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, you guys are gonna be so stoked on the merchandise. I'm so excited. There's San Gorgonio right there, right as I said it. But we'll be coming around some more corners, which will give us a much better view. Oh, those are just a few of the top of the bushes. We don't want that. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. If that tire thing comes up right now, right after that, then I know that there's that we have a problem. I hope I hope we don't have a problem. Did you see anything in the road? I, I don't I, know, like a stick or something. That was a rough stick. We just keep our fingers crossed, because that would not be fun right now. so deep in here now. Come on. Oh, I didn't want to do that, jeez. Like the first time that I decided to kind of speed up a little bit and we weren't even going fast, but I'm just gonna keep it at this slow pace because uh, yeah, I don't want us to get stuck out here. Stress is a huge, huge, huge part of my Crohn's disease, and that would that would not be good. And especially if there's like if if we're stuck out here, there's no bathroom. Skyline Penny Pines Plantation. That'd be kind of eerie to walk back there at nighttime. stick there. I don't like those sticks. They're going to be that rough on me. Rough sticks. Let me roll up the window for a second so we can do this again because there's some dust on the windshield. And before the winter season, we need to change the windshield wipers. So we have some freshies for the winter. That'll be fantastic. <clears throat> and you guys, I need to find a place to park my Harley for the winter time. If, if anyone would let me pay you a, a few bucks to uh, park it in your garage or something, let me know. I would appreciate it. Or else I'll have to go spend like 220 a month at some storage unit, and I really can't afford that. I'm not trying to get something for free, as I said. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Look at that. And look at that big rock right there. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. You can see the lake right here. We should be coming up to a nice little lake view on the left-hand side. This is so beautiful. Look at that. There's the lake straight out there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. You can see part of the lake right there. Wow, guys. What do you think, babe? Beautiful, huh?
Look at how steep that is. Then straight ahead is San Gorgonio. We will be coming up to a very nice view of San G. When I first moved up here and people were calling it San G, I thought it was called San G, like S A N G E E. <laughs> Yep. Yep, I did. Oh, here's another rough spot. Hang on. This is the side that the tires got an issue on, on the right here. Wow, look at, look at San Gorgonio straight ahead, you guys something else man something else that is just something else and rachel's right she said a lot of beautiful christmas trees up here and there are spectacular right there I mean that is just spectacular yeah I know he's so cute it smells it smells like he farted no he's a cutie pie and I love him so much his name is Theo his name is Theo. He's a cutie cutie pie and I love him so much. His name is Theo. Th -th -th Theo. Here's another rough patch right here. We gotta be careful. Another spectacular San Gorgonio view, San Gorgonio summit. That light patch, that little mountain with the light patch, that's it, I believe. Some hiking trails right here. How cool is that, babe? Very cool. I'd love to do some hiking trails. Yeah, that's one, one of these ones is, is what Ray took me on. Ray got a 2024 Subaru Crosstrek, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for him. I think he, he sent me pics. I think it was like blue, kind of like my Subaru, but a light blue. I know. Yeah, they they missed my vein. And they miss my vein all the time. For some reason, this emergency room, be from here? it's wherever they can find the vein. Yeah. But then I had them do it in, in my hand right here. Because my veins are thicker there, so... And then like he like kept on like working it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, oh. like I, I was like the F word. I was like, oh, not cursing at anyone. Just like out loud. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like he missed my vein. And then while, while the needle's inside my arm, he's like moving it around trying to like, oh my yeah, yeah. It was horrible. But the staff was really cool though. I mean, they were really cool. That. Their, their kindness made up for um, not being able to get my get my vein for the IV. And then yeah, they put the IV of uh, of steroids inside, and then they did Dilaudid for the pain. But it's the it's the steroids that really help with the pain when it comes to inflammation like shockingly hmm. 
Hmm? That's terrible. It really is, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks, babe. It burned so bad. It was burning so bad when when he's like, doo -doo -doo, like working it. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? How are the doggies doing? Good. Good. Theo, you want to say say hi to, hi to hi to everyone again? Oh, oh, that's my little that's my little boy right there. That's my little boy. That's my little boy. They gave him the buzz cut at the groomers. I, I like his cut a lot better this time than the last time. And did they do his tail better instead of looking like a schmuck? <laughs> um, yeah, I've been telling them to let the tail grow because it is looking a little paintbrushy. Yeah, it, that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what it was looking like. And the birds. Deer group campground this way. That road does not look like fun. And we are getting, I think, pretty close to the to where we were turned around before, which is not far from the very end anyway. This is where Ray and I hiked. Oh. We crossed right here and this hiked all the way up to the top point. there. Yep, that's exactly it. Yeah, right there. So we, we came up from that that area and yeah, I since it's daytime I totally recognize it. Grand View Point's the name of the place too. Some more San Gorgonio. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. Why do we have to live in such a beautiful area? Because we're lucky. We're lucky. Like Chucky. And the rubber ducky. Again, those of you hanging with me so far, hanging with us so far if you haven't hit that like button please please hook it up please do that for us we'd appreciate it hit the like button subscribe
so we're an hour into this beautiful wow look at look at that rock formation right there it looks like they were man-made put there but they weren't pretty cool So if you guys go to my hiking playlist and you look up, up the Pine Knot Trail about, about halfway through, you'll see us crossing where we just talked about, Grand View Point, and, or 2N10, the road we're on, heading up to Grand View Point. And that is where the very end of our hike was, and then we hiked back. time to figure that out while we're on this road you always have good suggestions babe i could use your card to go get some of the polkas though that'd be great and if, you, if why don't we get like a stuffed crust pizza from the store no you don't want to do that But babe, all the good stuff we eat is always plain. Like sorry, that's what good stuff it is. Okay. You can't have spices. It messes with your stomach. Well, I'm gonna eat what I want, but I I won't make it too bad. You know. nice view over here so those hills you're seeing are on the other side of the lake that's where Holcomb Valley is those hills through these trees the hills have eyes oh we should watch that tonight okay I think we're coming up to the best San Gorgonio view of the drive and there's like a like a roundabout type of a thing that you can kind of drive and do a 360 in this little part where you get the, this amazing view. Oh yeah, babe, look at this view. Just amazing. Can you imagine if this was our driveway to get to our house? Like, what if we had the most beautiful house? Would it be worth it for you if if we had to take this drive every time we wanted to, to leave the house? <laughs> Wouldn't that be pretty nuts? I know, right? Like even if it's like an MTV Cribs house. But if we had that kind of money, we would just take our helicopter. Into town? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Just land on, on Stater's roof. And I mean, we could. We could land at the hospital empty. That's true. And then have our limo waiting for us to drive us to Stater's. <laughs> <laughs> so I got stuck, or not stuck here. This is where I ruined my Mercedes when I first moved up here on one of these these roads. I, I smashed the like oil and transmission pan, which wasn't good. I, I got out of here though, thank, thank goodness, but the car was never the same after that. It was the ML version, so it, it wasn't like a, it was the SUV Mercedes. It was so fast. It was the 500, it was so fast. See Another steep cliff right here. But I'm 
pretty sure we're getting close to what I was telling you guys about that that roundabout and the beautiful straight up view of San Borgonio. You know what I need? I, I, I need to get a bunch of Pedialyte and some yellow Gatorades as well. I did my research on the best electrolyte drinks and Pedialyte under a bunch of things was rated number one because of the lack of sugar and a lot of electrolytes. Gatorade would have been as good if I'm exercising all the time because it, it gives you that sugar for, for energy plus the electrolytes, but since I'm, I'm not getting much exercise, it would defeat the purpose, so I, I, I need to get some Pedialyte. And I'm willing to do all these things because I'm in so much pain. So what do you guys think of this drive? Isn't this just beautiful? I sometimes worry going around these blind turns that there's gonna be some cars flying towards us, but it's all part of the risk you take while driving on these roads. Here's a little offshoot. I don't know where, where that goes, but access trail. It's a hiking trail. Skyline. Skyline, okay, cool. Cool, that, that's the Skyline Trail, okay. Nice, babe. hours every time you just come to the house. Yeah, yeah totally no one would ever come because it's too far I think we're about to go through a part that when I first moved up here, this whole area was burned out. Theo, come on, man. Don't step on my X mode. Yeah, this was, this was a very eerie little portion of this drive. Everything was black. It smelled really good. It, it, it smelled like, like a fireplace, but it was just very scary. But you can tell that a lot of the burnt stuff has gone away so that's good how you doing Theo no Theo he won't chomp will he no okay
as I said, I think we're getting close to the end. stand this glare you guys So the road is still closed at this point and just past here is where that roundabout area is. I'm so frustrated that we can't go through. Do you have wire cutters, babe? <laughs> <laughs> says coyote something coyote road coyote road okay all right guys so now we're gonna start headed back just give me a second I'm gonna shut it off for a moment and I'll be right back and then remember it's gonna be a completely different view coming back all right you guys so we are we are now headed back again we were really close to the very end we were just about to get right behind snow summit and as I told you guys, it's at the very top. If you park on this road, when you get behind Snow Summit, you literally walk up about 70 yards and you're at the very top of, of Snow Summit, at the very top of the lift, right where the restaurant is. It's pretty awesome. It tripped me out big time when I first made these few journeys up here. And again, because the glare, we're really going to have to hold it out the window here. second with not too much glare again this is going through that that part of the, the mountain range that was ravaged with fire and again it was it was a sight guys it was very eerie and scary back here because of the how dark and black and quiet it was all the animals that perished in that fire like it, it, was, it was it was it was rough it was rough
She's just chilling, holding on to our little lovey dovey. Wow. Very curious about what's out there. He is. Curiosity the dog. So guys, going back, we I'm probably gonna drive a little bit faster. Because it's not that long of a drive, you guys. It's just you can't drive too fast on this stuff. It's really nice. I think it's like eight or eight or nine miles and that's the whole drive we didn't do the whole drive because the it was closed near near the end about a, a mile from the end probably So I can see that. <laughs> I can see though, Mr. Theo. Spicy stuff is the problem. Well, why did you say the food's plain? Chicken and rice is plain. When did you have chicken and rice? One, every time you make it, babe. How many times have I made you chicken and rice? Quite a few times, babe. I don't think so. Wow. You... I've made it like a, maybe just three times. Okay. Well, then you've made it three times. You make it really, really, really good. I just don't like 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 just like plain plain foods but if if it's going to be something healthy like that and just straight up like like that yeah you make it amazing i'm just saying like uh if i get a cheeseburger like i want all all the fixings on there you know not just like the ketchup like uh and because I haven't been able to eat anything. Well, in, the last chicken we had was like an herb and lemon chicken. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It was. So it wasn't just chicken. No, true, true. That's true. Maybe I'm thinking of like of like other dishes to like add to it or like sides or like something. That's what I meant by like, it's it's it's, it's just straight up chicken and rice. As I said, it's super bomb. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I ate it for days because I didn't want it to go bad. But when you cook your like Mexican food, oh my gosh, babe. You want me to make enchiladas? That would be fantastic, yeah. Yeah. Babe, everything you make is great. I'm I'm just saying like when, when, you're, when, when you're looking out for me and doing the right things, it still tastes amazing. It's just there's not you like can't the whole eat enchilada sauce though. Ooh, good good point. Unless it, it's it's a mild sauce. Is it is it a possibility to get a mild yeah, sauce? I'll look up some stuff and see what, what will work. Okay. Even your taquitos, babe, taquitos. You can't have taquitos, it's too much fried. That's true too. Come on, babe. Chicken and rice it is. No! Oh, my chicken and rice plain. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that's it. That's what's on the next, that's what's on uh, the mail for, for like a month. Yeah, exactly. I didn't mean like, like tasted plain. It's just, that's like all, all there was. I'm just kidding with you. I know what you meant. You know I love your cooking. 
and most of what you cook has been like the best of that particular food. Yeah. Are you okay? Like seriously, your taquitos are insane. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, it's coming up to the few roughest parts of the road and once we're through that then we can start stepping on it a little bit more Here's a not so fun one, but it's just gonna be really how steep. How high does she want to get on my body? Look at her. Whoa, see how steep? <laughs> Don't bottom out back there. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at guys. She's way she up on my wife. I mean, she could, if she was able to sit on top of my head, she would. <laughs> that's so funny. <clears throat> that is, babe, that's hilarious. San Gorgonio again. change roads here so we're good we're on the, the main road that, sh that shows so that's good you know what that's good to rent it because the 210 is the only road that will show on the map currently back here at least at, at this distance out from the GPS so uh, that's that's a good thing if we're ever going on a wrong road we can always look there and it shows us driving off this trail
guys, I should get a like and subscribe for like how much, like to hold the phone up this long, it, it, it really does, it wears you, it wears on you. But it's a good shoulder exercise. That's the best San Gorgonio view on the drive since we couldn't get to that next part. I mean, that is definitely the best so far. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's probably gonna be the thumbnail. hands because there's no sun shining on the camera. All I need is like 10 seconds of a break and then I'm good. Yeah, it's such a cool road, you guys. It really is such a great road. As I said, there's so much to discover and, and so just so much land to hike on. This one, we might get a little stuck for a second. another spectacular view of Big Bear Lake. If you guys pause that scene and zoom in, you'll definitely be able to see some of the lake and it's really beautiful right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed guys, we have another spectacular winter. Even if our winter is half of what this last one was, we could fill the lake. So I'm hopeful. And look at that, I think that's something peak. What's it called? I always forget. Something peak. Why am I forgetting the name of that peak? Oh, I'll, I'll remember it. I'll remember it.
Beautiful little stretch right here, you guys.
Hope you guys are enjoying the ride. Again, this is, this is my favorite, most beautiful drive in the San Bernardino National Forest. I haven't been on them all, but to date, of all the ones that I've actually been on, this is my, by far my favorite one, especially when you can drive all the way through. Like, my gosh. That's, that's, that's when the views really become just, just priceless. But we got some priceless views on this run anyway, so. Is that her? Does she need any more water? out point or elevation point or something just so I can show you where we like hiked into this side Excuse you.
bring the dogs next time because I bet some of that, that weight on you didn't help. I'll bet you anything. take the whole left side we're not gonna split it we made it okay I think that was like the last of the worst parts of the road maybe there's still a few minor bad areas but not as much as we've gone through already so I think we're done with those I think <clears throat> Oh, sorry, babe. Didn't even see that.
Thank you. That makes me happy. That was cool. First moved up here I saw a bunch of logging trucks always back here made me kind of sad but we need that wood build us some houses Try it first because that's just showing the signal between the car and your phone. It's obviously going to be a really high clean signal. Our our worry is the AT&T signal out from the car for the internet.
actually open to like 10 15. It's like why? Because they will totally ever, if, if ever changed, the hours will always be the same. Can I roll in your window, babe, just so I can get some good footage over here? How beautiful this part of the road is just gorgeous so like white sand beaches it's really beautiful and because you reminded me that having too much grease like the pizza is definitely not going to help me out so that's why I didn't do it Burger, no onions, no lettuce. With onions. With onions. Did we? <laughs> did we? Oh, I'm surprised. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Surprised we even got a hold of it all. Hope the picture's still coming out okay for y'all. That's 2N09, or I think it said 2N09, but I thought I've seen 2N09 somewhere else. Maybe it just crosses over right, right over here. Later, Bob. Have a good night, man. Call me. Oh, oh okay, baby. Hey, yeah, but I didn't realize that was him because I didn't see their car. His hair's always been white, 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 white. Yeah, always. Yeah, always. I mean, good eye again. I was I was looking over there. But I didn't want to stare too much. Let me get this. And then I gotta show this this water going right here. Look guys, there's 
some water right here. I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, oh, holy moly, go. This is a really eerie time of night, guys, or evening. This is really cool. And the cool thing is that we're driving out through the thick forest part during this like, like sun about to go down time. It's awesome. Babe, didn't ask. <laughs> a little lake view, not much, but a little bit. With onion rings. No onions, no lettuce. With, with onion, onion rings, rings, yeah. And I wanted to get the pot roast dinner. Okay guys, we just got onto the pavement, so that means we're getting close to the end. Woo! We're getting close to the end and people are coming up to their to their camping oh, sites. Thank you. Getting ready for, for bedtime. That's why we're seeing all this traffic come in, because these people these people are, are going in for the night. on these darn roads. I bet when 
since you're all relaxed and kind of sleepy, it's like jolted you, didn't it? And I have to pee too. Yeah. Well, they have a restroom at Mountain Munchies. Are you, are you good with that? Yeah. Or do you want to go home first? All right, guys, so we are really coming close to the end here of the 2 and 10. Oh, look, right as I say it, we're going through the first main gate. There's a little bit of water there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's poop. Someone, it's poop. Look at it. Someone left their, their, like, uh, their, like, toilet. They poured their, like, toilet stuff out. Look at it. When you see it, it's, it's it's super brown here. No, no it's rest. Oh. It, it's literally a little stream of water coming from out of under the ground. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought it was something really yucky. tomorrow my bestest friendest in the whole wide world all right let's see here so i, I i'm not 100 percent sure on these houses you guys like if they're um if they're forest servicery or if those were, were people who were grandfathered in when they owned property up here i don't know what type of land it's on it's basically what i'm I'm trying to say, I've been told numerous times, but I can never remember. back up to Mill Creek. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. Thanks for hanging out with us, being cool to us. Um, it's great communicating with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. It's always fun to go on a little drive with you and show you around Big Bear. It really is. Thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe, share the videos. 
leave comments. We love comments. We respond to people. We're not conceited. Like you guys are what make this channel special. Ask her. I spend so much of my day responding to comments, but it's because I love you guys and, and you guys are awesome. So anyway, we're all saying, saying goodbye. Let's say bye to the doggies. Bye doggies. Hey, Theo, Theo, say, say goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. I hope you guys once again enjoyed the ride, and we will talk to you soon. Peace out. It is, what is it? What's the day? It is September 18th, Monday, September 18th, and we're shutting off at 5.30. The video will be uploaded tomorrow on Tuesday. Peace out, you guys.